And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 gameplay today. We're going to be doing side quests, seeing that we've already beat the game. And I see that there's a new one on here. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the support button. Uh, this is just the rundown, doing everything that we missed so we can get ready to do gameplay number 2. And I think number 2 is going to be us focusing mostly on the PK, unless on the Bazaar. Just to see what happens, see what changes, what's different. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you support button, let's get into it. So today, Aww. we're going to be doing the Carrier's X, uh, IX there, and then there's this new one down here. Regarding the map, let's take a look. Uh, I see a couple question marks over here we should probably explore. Uh... We haven't been in this area much. We should probably explore this area a little bit more. Try to get some of these inhibitors. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Unveiling all these question marks that we haven't been to. Going to this dark zone over here. And just try to get all of the inhibitors that we can. Uh, go over here, get this Carrier's Guild uh, little loot box thing there. That's mostly what we're going to be doing. We're going to do the Carrier's X or IX first. Us. We'll finish that until it's done, and then we'll work on all these little question marks. Uh, we're going to avoid the parkour challenges for the time being, and those type of things, but we've got to do all this little stuff before we can start another gameplay through, because I want to see if the side quests change or not. So the best way to do that is to go through and do everything at once, and then on the second gameplay, only do stuff that, like, put on video stuff that changed on the second gameplay through. Anyways, let's get into it. a drink come back and Huh? <laughs> 
name ending up in some memorial down in the street. <sighs> What's on the menu today, Professor? Ah, just a few deliveries. A few or a lot. I'll take whatever. Good man.
can't believe that worked. I'm a renegade. Ah! Carrier with a letter for you? Excellent, thank you. Oh, very interesting. This is not quite the news I expected, but welcome nonetheless. What's that, ma'am? Forgive me if I'm not at liberty to say. As a carrier, I'm sure you of all people understand the value of information. Yes, yeah, certainly. The Guild has its network, but we overseers 
I would say we are more like spiders. We crisscross the city with our webs and take notice when we feel a tug on this thread or that. I see. I'm sure you do. And yes, we occasionally feed upon the poor flies caught in our web, but we're just as likely to give them a treat as well. To keep our web strong, of course. Of course. So, perhaps I won't share the tidbit that got caught on my web this time, but I will reward the fly who tugged on the thread and called it to my attention. Make sure my little fly is rewarded. And there's a little morsel for you as well.
Carrier's Guild, here's a package for you. Oh my! I've been waiting for this. The new issue of Flickr Fanfare magazine. What's that? The best source for behind-the-scenes info on your favorite movies, their stars and directors. Oh look, it says here that Lana Kasdan has a new film coming out. And that Eggie Canby's performance in the Quigley is a tour de force. Uh, what's a movie? <laughs> you know if you read Flickr fanfare, my friend. I used to read them slavishly when I was younger. I recently found someone with a complete collection. I pay him to send me an issue a month. I feel like I'm back in the old days when movies were being made and magazine subscriptions were in vogue. I see. Interesting. Forgive my pathetic nostalgia, but... The arrival of these rags, and yes, they were rags even then, well, it takes me back. They're a monthly oasis from the pervasive drear around us. I can't argue with you there. So don't. Now, leave me. It says that Teddy Canterbury is having an affair with his leading lady, and he's married to a man. Oh, I swear the cat is just insatiable. and ignorance.
brain. So, you ready to talk history now? I can try. Good. Let's start with one of the defining moments of our history. A tragic event that had such an impact, it still defines how the city looks today. Here goes. What event went down in history as Black Monday? That would be the chemical strikes on the city 11 years ago. Correct. On January 6th, 2025, at 0800 hours, the butcher, Colonel Williams, decided to use a newly discovered chemical compound, the THV Gen Mod, to stop infection. Hope of reclaiming control of the city turned to tragedy. Millions of residents were killed. It also caused terrifying mutations of the infected, turning them into what we now call specials. The chemicals are still active today. Don't get near them. I mentioned the March Massacre before. Any clue what happened on this day? The army killed 64 civilians protesting against weapons confiscation. You actually have been paying attention. This is correct. This shooting was the beginning of escalation of riots in the city, which finally led to the fall of General Pratt and Colonel Williams taking over. The army confiscated all the guns and ammo. It all started there, south of Houndfield, by the monument of the World Art Congress. The last question. Let's go for a moment out of Villador, taking a global perspective. Before mutating, THV was simply known as Haran virus. Haran is where it all started. But do you remember when the Haran events happened? It's fall 2016. You were close, but no, you still have a lot to learn. Farewell, Pilgrim. Ugh! 
In one piece, I see. Of course. Uh, here's a message I was given. I'll take care of that. Now get your arse back here soon. These messages aren't going to deliver themselves. I'm restless, Professor. I need something to do. I've got some deliveries for you. Sweet. Just watch yourself. There's something in the air. Like what? I can't put my finger on it. But watch your back. Alright guys, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you support button. I'll see you guys in the next video.